We're in Dose, the place where I was born and raised. I've um, been living here all my life uh, for 20 years, 24 years, I'm still counting. Um, kind of my safe haven, to be honest. Such a factor in looking at him shaping. My name is Andrew Dahlstrom, uh, also going by the nickname IDDQD in Overwatch. It became pretty clear early on that you know you'd be in the spotlight, you'd be doing that, you'd be doing interviews, um, you'd be sitting on stage, people would be cheering for you, and all that sounded really amazing, you know, at first. But when it actually came down to the point where it was, you know, happening, I mean, I was like literally shaking in the beginning. I think it goes by the saying that what you don't understand. Um, like you, you kind of afraid of what you don't really understand, I guess it's the saying, and I think that applies to my mother in many ways. I have tried to find him and focus on how to make himself an education that he can use and make himself a job. For that is what we have seen as very important. At that time, I understood that you could actually make yourself a career in e-sport. She didn't really understand esports at all. She didn't understand gaming in general either. So there was a lot of conflict, like conflicting opinions on whether I should be doing with my future. Um, she thought that you know it's probably more reliable to study, you know, get your uh, exam in whatever you want to study, and just you know go go like a safe, secure path. The more she understood, like the more she kind of you know studied the game, studied the scene and everything in and out, she started to also understand, you know, the whole scenario. It's very, very crucial that you have the family support when you're doing these things. It's kind of funny, I didn't choose McCree, he chose me. Oh! What a flashback coming out! And Seagull, not a chance! IDDQD, the goalie, he had one job to stop Seagull and he did it beautifully! So, what happened was, um, at the time, we needed a McCree player in the team, like very, very early on in the game. I didn't like him that much. He wasn't really appealing to me at all. Um, but I decided to give it a try and it kind of stuck with me ever since that day. And today, you know, I'm considered amongst, you know, the top DPS players in the game. So, like, that transition happened very quickly. So the World Cup is, it's literally like a world championship. You, you, instead of like organizations representing teams, you have teams representing countries instead. The shields, there we go, gets himself a triple. Literally like shooting fish in a barrel indeed. I've been teammates with every single player. We have Sepposai, who's the support player for Misfits. We have Sava, who is the support player for uh, Luminosity Gaming. We have Shipsayan, who's like a flex support kind of person. Yeah, he plays like flex support as far as we're concerned. He's from Team Envious. We have Coco, who is a tank, and he also plays for Team Envious. We have Twig, who plays for Rogue as a flex DPS, and we have me. I think Coco is just amazing to play with. He's just such a fun character, and he always brings joy, like, you know, in, in very weird scenarios, but he finds ways to do it. It's just a big part of like Swedish people in general. Like we, we start gaming so early on, and we become very serious early on as well. And it's just I don't know. It's just it's a part of us. It's just integrated in, in in our game style, I guess. So yeah, it's very important. It, it boils down to the fact that you have to believe in what you believe in. And if you start having doubts, you're obviously not going to go anywhere. You have to con consistently think that you can improve. And when you reach that point, you just keep on going, keep on moving forward. There's no point, you know, listening to others saying that you won't make it or don't ever get discouraged. Just keep rolling your way and eventually you're gonna hit that spot where you feel like, I made it. And that's practically it, just never give up. Mm -hmm.